I actually, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do for the intro, so I'm just gonna like do a few things here and see what sticks. Go. A pretty long time wee, ago, wee. <laughs> in a country somewhat far away. What is this? What was happening? Chris, help me take this podcast off. But you'll die. Nothing can (laughs) stop that that now. now. (laughs) Tell the Prince of Magic. Magic. (laughs) He was right. He was right. (laughs) Somebody give me a disco beat. It's my final episode. It's the season finale. We watched Turkish Star Wars, and it's time to commit some copyright infringement tonight on <laughs> what is with the Wii U Wii U thing all of a sudden? <laughs> Wii U Wii U! <laughs> Welcome to the crossroads of camp, the bastion of the bazaar, the place where low budgets meet high praise. Yes, it's B Movie Mania! <laughs> And now, B-Movie Maniacs, here are your hosts, the cream of the crap, the connoisseurs of cult, your cinematic creepy uncles, Paul Brooks, Mike Hayes, Jason Hulls, and Crazy Chris Hudson. Uh... Yeah, welcome, B Movie Maniacs, to the season two finale of B Movie Mania. I am your host for the evening, Turkish Paul Brooks, and joining me, as always, is Turkish Chris Hudson. Wee wee. Oh, I was gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> I beat well, Jay, you to it. Jay, you have ten seconds to come up with something else because it's Turkish Mike Hayes. Rip rip. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, now you have five seconds. And Turkish Jason Hulls. Wee wee. God damn it. Wee wee. Okay, so I I made a request that since it's my last episode, I wanted everybody drinking. It seems pretty obvious to me that everybody is. So let me get some drink checks from from everybody. Jay, what are you drinking? Uh, you know my 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 Captain and Coke. Well, I wouldn't expect anything other than that. Is it is it a capital J? I mean, it's yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty okay, good. Chris, I am drinking a Marie Dufo Bass Armagnac, uh, aged twelve years in an oak barrel. This fine bottle of sixty five dollar <laughs> brandy complements perfectly the glass of bottom shelf whiskey and coke that I am drinking out of my other hand. Oh my! You're double fisting. Double fisting it. Oh my god. Wee-oo, wee-oo. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike? Uh, I currently have a $12 bottle of gin, uh, some soda stream water. Uh, I mix. I got the whole thing here for the bar. Uh, I got some Schoffenhofer grapefruit to mix in there a little bit. Uh, I've got a Land Grant uh, Binary Star Black IPA. I'll just crack that open right now. Yeah. Uh, and then I've got a very special bottle of Malort here. Uh, I'm just gonna swig from here. Uh, <sighs> Delicious. Yeah, yeah, sounds like it. You know what I like most about uh, Mike's description of what he's drinking, and I know our listeners can't hear that, but I see him on the video screen here, is that he's got all of those in a backpack. <laughs> I do. And he's just reaching back and drinking. It's gr- it's amazing. It's a real cocktail. Call me Tom mm-hmm. Fuckass Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will call you that, Mike. <laughs> All right. For the rest we do of the, the intro episode. again. <laughs> okay. And Turkish Tom Fuckass Cruz. <laughs> uh, I, of course, you guys probably noticed already. I am drinking my. Uh, it's a just a. It's a, just a Miller Genuine Draft. So we're really all drinking like the most stereotypical things 
Like that's what I would have guessed for all of you it's if true. I had to guess what you were drinking. <laughs> we, yeah, we're all drinking our drink. Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> So if you want to make the B-Movie Mania cocktail, pour one part whiskey, one part rum, one part gin, one part more, and top it off with a domestic beer. No, that's gross. <laughs> All right, uh, listen, I'm going to do a plot synopsis for whatever the fuck this thing was that we watched. But is that a thing you can, is that really a thing that can be done? I'm going to try, Chris, I'm going to try. Mm-hmm. It was directed by Satan Inank... Oh. And, yeah, and not written gonna, by. We're not going to pronounce anything correctly here tonight. Kunatin Arkin, who also starred in the leading role. It's uh, a Junaid. The movie is. Ah, uh? it's Junaid. I think it's. I saw like a thing. Yeah. I heard a thing. It's like Junaid. I actually, I actually looked up the correct pronunciation of these guys and completely forgot it all by the time I got drunk. <laughs> okay, the director so. is in. I believe the director's Anansh, and the star is Junaid Arkin. That doesn't that doesn't make any sense. It's Turkish, Why? Paul. You you're you need to be very careful here. Yes. The movie is actually called Oh God. Dunya Dunya no, Don't bother. <laughs> Kurt Harin Adam. Uh, or in English, the man who saved the world. But it is better known as Turkish Star Wars Wait, for Paul? reason that we will soon get into. Yes, what, Jay. what did you say it was called? Dun Yagi. No, 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 no. No, the, not that one. Not that one. The the man who saved the world? No, it's not. It's the man who saves the world. You know, I saw that. I, I saw different things. Wikipedia says the man who saved the world. So they someone needs to go in and change that. Yeah. All right, listeners. Get on it. Do it. Hey, write, <laughs> Do it. Write in what, how the correct translation of this title, and we will come back and re-record this episode Consistently with a consistent hell title. no we yeah, won't we yeah we will we'll do that that's a, yeah, that's we'll, a redo we'll redo it we'll redo this entire promise. thing the whole yeah. thing so what happens in this movie <laughs> oh god damn it <laughs> I'm just kidding quick takes quick takes Mike Hayes what'd you think of Dunyani Korran Adam the man who uh, saves the man the world. who saves the world Turkish Star Wars I think. Hearing you mispronounce it, the name of this movie, this treasure of a film, um, is making my brain incompatible with saving the world. He called it a treasure. You heard it here first. It's going to be a high rating from my case. Um, <laughs> Chris Hudson. Oh, my God. This is the most goddamn insane thing I have ever goddamn seen. <laughs> I mean, I'm still, I'm really still not even sure if I watched this or not, or if I just dreamed it and just like you had little a freak bits out. of it. Oh my god, I just, uh, I mean, did I do drugs and don't remember it? I don't really know anything about this movie, but but I want to say in my quick take that the music, the score to this movie is amazing. I really want to know where I can buy the soundtrack. Oh yeah, well, hard to find. Let me tell you. Yeah, I bet. Uh, Jason Hulls. Humanity, future. <laughs> I knew that. I knew it was coming. Wizard. I knew it. Brain. <laughs> Peace. Oh my god, <laughs> that was beautiful. That was beautiful, Jay. You know, I enjoyed the movie, but I really felt it was lacking in narration and exposition, <laughs> especially in the beginning. <laughs> By sailing of mankind into space for the first time and landing yep. on the moon, the Here space we go. age begins. Five minutes, listeners. The space age Five is a progression long. era of mankind. Thousands years they lived this way. <laughs> space age had been passed. If anyone needs Life to take a pee break, break now would be the time. To the galaxy age. You know, I wanted Hundreds to do a thing where we all read this and then we just blend our voices together. No, so just it's... let them go. Just let them go. <laughs> oh, I, I'm not. We're not going to do it. I got to make a drink. I'll be right back. Yeah, go make a drink, Chris. <clears throat> Mike, keep, Mike going. keep going. Okay. Planet system of space turned into the galaxy system. Civilization and history had become past. Mankind started to be contented with a simple lifestyle as in primitive ages. And with all their power, they initiated relentless struggle and effort to find immortality and sustain. We just had this in the background life. for the entire episode. In this yeah, era, Mike, could you just Nation repeat this over and over again? I don't think I'll need to repeat it. It'll just to be, be one separated long countries and did not become one entity. 
Yep, just keep Only going. one earthly life form in the tribe consisted the humans of Earth and Galaxy Age. Earth was facing the danger of extinction as a result of a crazy nuclear armament. Oh my god, he Earth really wrote down avoided the whole thing. such dangers a couple of times before. Can you imagine if they Not would have released the full two and a half been hour cut that this Earth. film was originally However, edited to? In some I think cases, they, they Earth has been cut out like 45 into minutes parts. of narration at the beginning. Perhaps. I think they did. Parts which fragmented off from Earth had and become as a meteor fact, rocks in space. This could have been split into two movies, life but Anand said no. On. So they cut However, over an hour out of the film. Momentum. Because for the sake Turkish of ruling and becoming more powerful, typically run 75 while the minutes. beautiful and happy world and, uh, was madly and, destroyed, and Anand needed this oh, one to be shorter. came across ah. with a mysterious and very strong ah. enemy. Yeah. I gotta say, at 90 minutes, this is pushing it. Our world, which had been formed into matter for rays and The movie and also stole from Sodom and Gomorrah. Ago, got fragmented into dust clouds the, the magic sword. of laser rays and the galaxy <laughs> When worlds age. collide. Who was this enemy? Uh, a in Soviet rocket launch footage. footage. All humans and used the one actual single logo weapon against this for danger. Euro International They started films. to resist with a crust. So it wasn't just was Star Wars as that it cut, human that brain it, and willpower. Uh, from. A coating which was formed by compressed human brain uh. molecules was protecting the Earth. <sighs> Earth was turning into dust cloud under every well, Jay, attack. While we're talking about uh, sources that it stole from, shield. I believe uh, a the few of the costumes were also could breach complete. The they was weren't a weapon like to be constructed the footage wasn't stolen, but the costume designs willpower. were stolen from. Uh, but in reality, the forbidden planet, how strong I think from their one of the robots. Oh yeah, and, the uh, robots. Enemies sure. of the Earth I mean, and Galactica did like not have brains. Mummies, mummies from ancient Egyptian mythology, the mummies. You know, they started to there were zombies, 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 zombies stolen from a single warrior uh, night of the living dead. And this true. room was stolen from every tribe. Yeah. United and tried yeah. to find a you know, Chris, in the uh, documentary the thing that I saw, too, fight with it. they were oh, yeah. talking Strongest about the, how difficult the costume Turkish department warriors had it. Other humans oh, yeah, I think I saw this one. Yeah. Did you see this same video? Like, they said, like, because there was so much, like, action and stuff, the costumes took a beating and they had to be made out of lightweight material. So every day, after they were done okay. shooting, the costume department would have to uh, hey, wait, 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 hold on. Is Mike, Mike? No, it's it's over. Oh, he's done. Okay, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, we're gonna have to cut you off there, Jay. No, that's fine. Bazı gezegenlerde hayat devam etmekte, yaşam sürmekteydi. Ama nükleer savaş çok hızlanmıştı. Hükmetmek daha güçlü olmak için o güzel mutlu dünya delice So Turkish Star Wars, the film uh, follows the adventures of Murat and Ali, whose uh, spaceships crash on a desert planet. Following a battle. All right, all right, Paul. I want to stop you there real quick. I want to stop you there. Real yeah, quick. go ahead, okay, Chris. So, so they uh, are flying spaceships, but yeah, <clears throat> I mean, in this whole opening scene is just nonstop explosions, Tie fighters flying around, X wings. I mean, all stolen from Star Wars. Whoa, 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 whoa! What, they, what are you to, what are you talking about? Well, okay, so they actually used footage from the director, paid off uh, a security guard or something at a at a, a movie theater, so they could. Mm-hmm get a copy of the print of Star Wars, and they copied it. And so then they could reproduce it and cut it in where necessary, which was apparently all over the goddamn place. But <laughs> what I'm just wondering, though, okay, <sighs> this movie, if you go by the visuals at all, makes no goddamn sense. Because were they what? flying the TIE Fighters? Were they flying the X-Wings? Were they flying the Death Star? I'm not really no. sure what what they ships were, they were flying. They were flying Turkish Ships. I don't know what this Tie Fighter sex. <laughs> My other uh, little favorite thing that they did too is you know when they just sort of superimposed the Turkish <laughs> pilots over the the footage of Star Wars. They left the edits in, so the backdrops is Star Wars, but you see the edits in the background <laughs> behind their head. Yeah, which was a nice touch. It just suddenly yeah. changes and shifts image, but it's in space still. It's always in space. They never fucked up and got a tauntaun in there. <laughs> That's true. That's Do you true. guys know the, I guess, sort of backstory as to why the Star Wars footage was used? I think Chris yes. and I just talked about it, actually. They yeah. did. Yeah. Like on the podcast just now? Yes, yeah. we saved it Where for the you? podcast. Were you? Yes, Paul. We always save it for the podcast. Paul, edit in the part that Jay and Chris just talked about right here. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so they actually used footage from the director, paid off uh, a security guard or something at, a, at a, a movie theater so they could get a copy of the print of Star Wars, and they copied it. And so then they could 
reproduce it and cut it in where necessary, which was apparently all over the goddamn place. No, I didn't hear any backstory. <laughs> yeah, they said we they did. needed money, so they paid off the uh, security guard at a theater and, and I took heard the something different. I heard something different. Well, well, they also they also created some spaceships out on like a beach or something. Yeah. Correct. That they're going to use for the spaceship scenes, and a freak storm destroyed it all. That's what I was trying to get to. Yeah, so that's why they were forced to pay off the guard, steal Star Wars, and yeah. edit Star we Wars into we, the film. We, have, we don't have enough money to rebuild the set or the spaceships. We have just enough money to bribe a security guard at a movie theater. <laughs> but I just think it's worth mentioning that they actually tried to make their own shit, and yeah. it just, <laughs> God said no. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Which God, though? Yeah, this, this movie has a lot of them. Yeah, we'll, it we'll delves get into, into this that. whole religious thing later on. That well, I really actually think surprise. it all came down to one god in the end. So anyway, yeah, you're right. You're right. We'll get there. We'll get there two hours from now. Don't worry, <laughs> dear God, um, dear dear listener. This is buckle rating the fuck time. Up. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, Jay, what happened? Uh, what was the what was the result? I guess of this battle that they had. In space? Okay. Uh, um, so Yeah, I know. It sure didn't match the narration. That's all I'm going to say. No, it didn't. So <laughs> they pretty much, uh, from what I can gather, they got too close to some kind of force because they got too far away from the Earth. But not the Earth that we know. The Earth has been split into several pieces. Yes. So oh. they got too far from some version of the Earth. A force okay. got a hold of them. Somehow there was an explosion, and then they woke up on a different planet with with a, which I think it was a different part of Earth. Well, it's the it's or, the it's the Turkey part of Earth. I yeah. Believe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and they were covered in dirt, and then they got up, which totally plays pays off later on. And this is the part in the film where I wrote and put in my notes, my mind is melting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wrote three minutes in and I just have no clue. Well, another thing, it's hard to take notes on this movie <laughs> and pay attention and follow everything that's happening because it's so fast oh, and weird. Yeah. That's why I watched it 18 times and it still doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> guys, well guys, done. listen here. This is what keeps happening with cinema. This is an obvious and sorry if this sounds redundant, but blatant ripoff that Ronald D. Moore did. He saw this movie and oh went, yeah, that yeah. would be great. Let's just have Starbuck go down and crash and, oh my god, it'll be so dramatic and great. It already fucking happened in Turkish Star Wars. Ronald D. Moore, fight me. What a hack. <laughs> that asshole. <laughs> although, although, can I get back to the narration real quick? Because the narration mentions... <laughs> Do we have to? That, well, okay. We already did it. I think, I think it brings up a really important point. We did not talk about the human brain particles that protect the Earth. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I mean, no, that is a very important part to I talk about. I assume the translation <laughs> is completely accurate. No, it is. So, <laughs> and willpower. Why wouldn't it be? Willpower but, and human brains. So, so the Earth has been exploded, but there are human brain particles still protecting the Earth. But the enemies of the Earth in the galaxy did not have any brains, which you'd think would make it easy to defeat the enemies. Because they don't have the brain particles, and they need the brain but particles. What I want to know is how did they know that? Because it says they they had to go into disp- to space to defeat enemies they didn't know. Yeah. Hmm. What part of this is confusing to you guys? <laughs> listen, here's listen, guys. Okay, so you you read this this translation, this this overall narration where it says brain <laughs> and willpower po- molecules of brain and willpower and you're like well that this must be a translation thing right because there's some grammatical issues with the translation but then later in the movie someone shows up with a goddamn brain and you're like oh <laughs> guess it was what it meant <laughs> it was actual goddamn brain particles well and yeah. I, I, it was a golden brain which you know golden brain? man golden there's golden not sword. enough golden brains in films because that was an awesome prop <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. It's, it's Next so, James Bond movie, The Man with the, the Golden, Golden Brain. Brain. Hell yeah. Yeah, just rip off this movie again like it hasn't been ripped off enough. Are you, okay, you know what, Mike? You know what? We'll, we'll go... Uh, 
Uh-oh. We'll go 2018 with it. We'll make it the woman with the golden brain. Okay. Ooh, I'm into that. Mm-hmm. Can, can, I say, can I say also that Turkish Star yeah. Wars, I mean, in addition to the Battlestar Galactica <laughs> thing that Mike brought up, I'm I'm pretty sure this is where uh, Peter Jackson got the idea for um, the the Lord of the Nazgul costume, and where the who 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 directed the movie Three Hundred, where he got the idea for Gerard Snyder. Butler. Zach yeah, Snyder. where Zack Snyder got the idea for Gerard Butler, like in Three Hundred for Gerard Butler. Gerard B- Butler as a person. Yes. <laughs> You watch this movie and tell me that he didn't get the idea for Gerard Butler from this movie. <laughs> I should make a Gerard Butler. <laughs> and that, listeners, has been Conspiracy Corner. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Does anyone have? I'm not making a. I'm not making a soundbite for that. Does anyone else have anything to <laughs> hey, say? Paul, make a soundbite for that. God damn it! I will. <laughs> Conspiracy Corner. Does anyone else have anything to say about the fucking narration, or can I move on? <laughs> Guys, hey. we're five minutes into this movie. <laughs> it's fine. I know this. Look, it's the season goddamn finale. We, we learned everything we needed to know about this movie in the first five minutes. It's confusing as fuck. There's, like, shots of Star Wars everywhere, and Ollie really, really likes women. Oh, he does. Right. Yeah. He really, really likes women. He would love 2018. <laughs> Speaking of Ali, uh, they're crashed on this desert planet, and um, who is it that has a uh, a wolf whistle? I think it's Ali. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, he's trying he's trying to attract the ladies. He loves dude, the women. That so is one of the worst sounds ever made. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that doesn't it doesn't sound human. It's terrible. I have a note here that says I have a note here that says stop the whistling! Exclamation! 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 Oh my God, my ears! Yes. So should I not put an a audio sample of it in? No, I right assume now? it's already playing. Uh, it's 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 quietly playing underneath us, right? Can we like passively edit this below all of our voices so the listeners don't have to hear it too badly? <laughs> <laughs> and then right here, right here, right here, spike it up. <laughs> no! Oh, so, <laughs> so Mike Ali blows this wolf whistle. What happens? Skeleton horsemen. What? Skeletons. <laughs> skeleton horsemen. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean horses with goddamn skeletons riding them come all <laughs> up the motherfucking shit right here. <laughs> a whole bunch of them. Very eloquent. People call this Turkish Star Wars, and this is where you really begin to realize it really shouldn't be called Star Wars in any sort of <laughs> No. <laughs> and most of the criticism and most of the things you you see do point that out. Like, it really yeah. is not a plot rip off of Star Wars at all. No, no. It's a totally original movie that just happens to rip off a lot of scenes, like literal <laughs> film from Star Wars. Yes. It is it is a blueprint it, that modern day filmmakers should follow. No, no. <laughs> I mean I mean especially we especially when you get that rousing John Williams score. Okay guys, so horse skeletons come, right? Yes. And then Ali and our hero have to fight the skeleton horsemen. And did anyone really love how they fought them? Oh my god. You did. By jump, they just jumped on them all the time. It was just a bunch of jumping. This, this is a theme we'll see over and over it's again in so yeah. this movie. Good. So many jumps and leaps. Well, and I was a little confused about, honestly, like, were they supposed to be skeletons or were they supposed to be, like, knights? Bad guys in suits? Yeah, like, well, like, knights dressed, you know, with, like, skeleton-looking armor. That's what or I thought at first, yeah. But, but I think they were supposed cages. to be skeletons. They got nice, ske- they got nice rib cages coming out. So <laughs> it's like psychomania. Yeah, like psychomania. <laughs> this scene has my personal favorite line in the movie, <laughs> which we've kind of already hinted at. But somebody want to give it to me hard? No. <laughs> Instead of women, skeletons came. <laughs> <laughs> he whistled the wrong whistle. Yeah, it happens. You know. Shit. You mean, I mean, Chris, you mean this whistle? 
<laughs> no, 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 Jay, that's the whistle that calls the skeletons, <laughs> oh, no, not the women. Is, yeah. oh, Damn it. Oh. The, fucking, the fucking title card for this episode is going to be Do Not Listen, Whatever You Do. If you like this podcast, please ignore this episode. Oh. iTunes, take it down. iTunes, this is a sin against humanity. Remove this episode. Wait, are we on the part where they fight demons or Cylons? Cylons. How the, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, okay, Cylons now. So, <laughs> so Yeah, well, there's a heavy, heavy, heavy BSG influence in this movie, which I'm very excited to talk about. So, Jay? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, they're riding across the, the plains that they got the horses from the skeletons, and it's intercut with demons, <laughs> like shots of demons. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then the Cyber Knight Warriors that look like Cylons with their laser guns shoot them off the horses and then suddenly there's a lot of people and somebody <laughs> jumps off a cliff and a robot says they must fight because the master lives on the blood and that then then they then the, then a robot chokes a child oh my god he does i don't think the robot the robot doesn't just choke the child it's lifting it up by his head like, <laughs> and it's shaking him and it's the most brutal thing I've ever seen. This film was oh meant to be a kids' film that they watched in on their break from school. That's what. Well, where, what that's you, the target what, audience. What? Yeah, this is supposed to be a film for kids. No joke. Where are you, where are you getting this information uh, from? The, from the, the same documentary we all watched. Yeah, we all did our research, Paul. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, yeah, but you guys got to remember, and I hate to so bring a sober thought to this. Uh, is in some places of the world that kind of isn't out of place for a child, <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm just so, gonna lift this kid by his what head. and the claws of a robot. Yeah. <laughs> well, Jay. Hey, I don't. I don't know what robots do where you come from, Jay. But in Turkey, robots lift children by their heads. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> they, they. Yeah. You meet. Right. Here's the part where you meet the dead-eyed blonde woman. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> and then we figure out that our lead character kind of looks like Ian McShane, but a younger version. <laughs> okay. I kind of think he's an yeah. Eric Estrada, personally. Yeah, maybe an Eric Estrada, Ian McShane love child. Yeah, they fuck. <laughs> um, and and they talk about this is possibly the part where you get one of the best lessons of the film. This is where uh, Ian McShane Estrada says that you need to laugh more. Because people who get too serious fight wars. Oh, so, so if there's yeah, anything, yeah. maybe and they, maybe that's what the purpose of this podcast is, is to make everyone laugh a little bit more so that there's no wars. It's not working. Well, so, <laughs> so yeah, so they, they do this laughing thing, uh, and then our hero goes snooping around the, the caves they now live in, uh, and then wakes up a bunch of mummies and wild things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The fucking mummies. I lost it at the so mummies. So that happens right then, too, before we meet the bad guy. The mummies and werewolves kill the children in the cave. Do they? Yeah. Do they? Like, yes! They're, li they're living in the same fucking cave as these mummies and wild things. But when the earth has been broken into pieces, I mean, where's everybody gonna live? Sometimes you gotta share I, your that's caves true. with that's true. I'm sorry. the mummies and the werewolves. It's true. Real estate is tight, I guess. Yeah. Paul, did you, uh, you know, this is also the part, in case you were wanting to talk about this, where they talk about the, the 13th tribe? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, this came out in 1982, all right? The original Battlestar Galactica was on uh, American television in 1978 and 19. 89 and of course Galactica 1980 was on in well 1980. I, ha I there's just absolutely no way around this like there's a heavy BSG influence that they just pulled directly from sure. the original series. So you're so, saying this should be called Turkish Battlestar Galactica. It wouldn't be I'd be fine with on it. On a desert planet with mummies and werewolves. I mean maybe Furries. this was based on Battlestar uh, but the Thirteenth Tribe is actually an old biblical thing that Battlestar yeah. took from the Bible and the Quran, and that because Battlestar Galactica is a Mormon allegory, we all know it's right. like squirt squirt shit, uh, and that's it's based on a biblical tradition as well. So I actually don't know if it came from the brain of Battlestar, Br brain particles? or if it came from the brain of like old religions, because this whole movie is. But about Mike, all here's that the thing. Too. Here's the thing. I would be with you if it weren't for the fact that there were fucking Cylons walking all over this movie. <laughs> That's a great point, Paul. All right. But also, this movie was also all about religion. And also, 
the wizard drinks blood of the innocent through a big curly straw. That's yeah. good. Let's, let's <laughs> Which is that lifted directly from Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> No, that's lifted from my fucking childhood, motherfucker. <laughs> I got, I got to pee. Keep it, keep it going. Oh, okay. well, right. come on, going. Right, easy. This is the part where the Turkish guys lift rocks and punch rocks. Yeah. Oh, the training montage. Oh, this is the training montage yeah. already. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is the most famous part of the movie. Well, you're the yeah. most famous part of the movie. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna so, unplug my headphones so I can hear it okay. while I'm peeing. <laughs> guys, let me ask you a question. It's gonna be bad for editing. Yeah, oh, this is good. We'll, we can all hear ourselves. No, no, no. All right, okay, okay, all right. Okay. Uh, We're getting an echo. This is terrible. We're getting an this echo. This is the worst. God damn it, Paul. Oh, God. God damn it. This is why we don't do okay. drunk episodes. Now, when they were lifting rocks and splitting rocks, like, like they're, they got superhuman strength through all this, right? Like, that's... Well, well Jay, they also... God damn it, Paul. They also, they karate chopped rocks. They fucking yeah. swung rocks. They dropped rocks. They goddamn gave stern looks at rocks. I mean, it is fucking amazing. <laughs> what you and I'm not just saying that for the laughing factor, for the joke. They literally gave a couple rocks really, really mean looks. <laughs> they did. Yeah, it's, it, like, they tied these big old rocks to their legs so they could jump higher and break <laughs> gravity. Like, this is <sighs> whole thing... And it ends, Jay. Maybe you should say this. What? How do they decide they've finished training? What has? What have they? What have they have accomplished once they know they can stop training? Well, he well he karate chops a rock in half, right? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Um, that's that's about as far as yeah. I wrote. No, and then he kicks rocks into a wall and they explode. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> he he, and he does it like four times. He kicks it and it explodes. He kicks it and it explodes. It is. He's like, yeah, I'm good now, baby. It's it's pretty cool. And then it's great. Then um, the man and the young boy kiss each other on the cheeks in a field. Yeah, it's, it's nice yep, to do yep. that. <laughs> See, the great thing yeah. about this movie is you can just drop a complete non sequitur, and it's really, it truly, what ha- it yeah. really, truly is what happens. I mean, I'm not gonna say it makes sense, but this whole <laughs> damn movie doesn't make sense. And, and yeah. the other thing that I find hilarious, and I think there's is the woman under a spell because no, she yes. can barely force yes, a is. smile. I literally uh, was like, oh my, yes, like she, she is she totally under a spell. She is just she dead. Yep. In her face. No, she that's just what romance is. <laughs> well, I mean, there were all those awkward, awkward glances, and well, okay, not awkward glances, awkward stares between Murat and the lady. But yeah, Murat she's to- or something. Yeah, but she's totally under a spell. She can't talk until yeah. the golden sword and the golden brain particles that it. can be used to defeat the <laughs> wizard are found. Right. Well, I thought yeah. she was just deaf. Well, that's what you thought until that's they what you did think. that. That nice uh, plot twist when he finds the stuff and she talks. You're like, yeah, oh, she's like, okay. oh yeah, I can totally talk. Deaf people can still emote. <laughs> yeah, well, not her. It took a lot of concentration. <laughs> Could they do it in the '80s though? Could I they guess. do it in yeah. the '80s? Fine. Yeah. Question. And listen to Jay insulting deaf people in a purely audio. I format. am not insulting deaf. I'm, I'm defending <laughs> deaf people. Oh, look at look at Mike insulting deaf people in a purely <laughs> audio Wait, format. I didn't s- Oh, okay, guys, anyway, so after they kick rocks so hard, they could explode. Uh, yes, then the boy they, and the man kiss each other in the yeah, cheeks. Yeah, well, they mm-hmm. decide they need to go to get some drinks at the cantina. Well, for, wait, first they've got to have their fried insect and boiled snake. That's what, Yeah, they go, they go to the cantina so they can get a couple drinks, right? Isn't that where they get that? No, that's what the lady, like, makes for them. Oh, uh, then they go to the cantina. boiled snake. How would you like your snake, sir? Oh, boiled, obviously. <laughs> Lifted from Indiana Jones. Duh. Or wait, no. I just love the, the way you said it. Come out. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what, Chris? We haven't talked about Indiana Jones yet, and I'm I'm guessing that you're jonesing to talk about it. <laughs> God damn it. Well, that's from a different movie, isn't it? No, it's from this what? movie. That's from the... the, 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 the <laughs> The music from say, this from this movie is lifted entirely. Well, okay, it's like eighty percent pulled from Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's oh, called Turkish man. Star Wars, but you should really call this Turkish Indiana Jones. I never need to hear the Indiana Jones theme song again. Oh, like God, I've heard it enough. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> played so often. And I own the, the the Raiders of the Lost Ark theme song or uh, soundtrack, so I knew every track they pulled for this movie, and it's on every what? single CD? one. You on got CD. it on CD? Yes, that I converted myself to Og Vorbis format, bitch. <laughs> Well, I don't know. What I what I really loved about the soundtrack for this, particularly the Indiana Jones music, is that they would use it, but then when there was a break mm. for, for like where they wanted to cut it out, it would just cut out, and <laughs> then it would immediately start yeah, up again. Yes. It was, oh. It's like, it's like they so would show good. a shot, Indiana Jones music, cut to something else, <laughs> some other music, cut back, back to Indiana <laughs> Jones, and it was so, so disjointed and... <laughs> Fucking amazing! Hey guys. Oh, hey guys. oh God, what happens next? Hey guys, guys, guys. Yeah. Um, you you might say that the director raided his <laughs> okay. His you're record done. Library. You're done. You're done. <laughs> what happens next? They fight in the Mos Eisley Cantina. <laughs> yeah. They right. Get, some more Star Wars lifted uh, yeah. stuff. Here. They go to the cantina where he gets attacked by werewolves and the Philly fanatic. <laughs> 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 oh, and then the, I think okay. Oh then the God. emperor wizard shows up, and he says he can multiply <laughs> if he exists at all. Like it makes zero sense. It makes zero sense. And then he makes the screen go red, <laughs> and then he say, uses nope. their feelings as a weapon. One thing I loved about this movie is that each fight scene really gets better and better and better. <laughs> yeah. Like, at first, there's just kind of they're punching things, punching oh, skeletons, jumping. punching robots. Okay, the jumping, it starts off a little bit of jumping, but by the end, they <laughs> are so jumping much- all <laughs> over the place. I know, that's they're- just the best part. But they fucking jump to fight those horse dudes, and it's insane. <laughs> but, yeah, but well, it- I mean, let's... Let's give credit where credit is due. It, like the pacing of this thing and the and the editing of this thing is off the chart. Like it, oh. your brain can't keep up with it. No, no, thing no is it can't. Been edited this way. I mean, I mean, it's not edited well at all, despite what Mike well. says. But <laughs> well. it moves. It really moves. So, so have we talked about the, the, this thing with the wizard, the the thousand year old wizard, where he he tries to defeat the Earth, but it was repelled by. The shield, the the shield of uh, brain molecules. That's this part. <laughs> okay. Jay, talk about it. Go. Uh, okay, so the emperor wizard wants the queen to get something from the guys to destroy the Earth's resistance. Um, yeah. The guys are split up, right? And the queen appears, and when I say appears, she appears. <laughs> like just there she is, mm-hmm. and sh- like. They want to find the secret of the human brain's willpower. She, like, propositions the second pilot, and then the wizard oh, yeah. tries to convince Ian McShane to join him, and <laughs> then he refuses, and then the wizard shows him a brain in a box. Yeah. What kind of a brain? And then I was, I was a thinking, well, brain. is that his buddy's brain? But it's not. Yeah, I thought that too. Now, and then he says, the wizard's immortal, but, not, but he's physically immortal, not spiritually immortal. His soul died a long time ago. And then the wizard hauls in the child and the dead-eyed woman, who can barely keep her yeah. eyes open at this point. And then... Uh, it's been a long the, movie. The pilot <laughs> starts fighting everybody. All the furries. <laughs> and he's, like, ripping off the furries' monster cl- claws and stabbing them to death with their own arms. You talking about Murat? Murat, yeah, Murat totally knows how to rip off a monster's arm. Now these monsters are really cute. They're just like totally in the like, wait, what? They don't look scary. Pajamas? No, they're awesome. They're furries, dude. They're not. They're not mean looking. <laughs> I mean, they growl a lot, and I'd say like half this movie is like, rawr, rawr. Oh, man. And even the mummies growl in this movie. The sound design, oh. <laughs> say though that whoever like made these furry outfits i know they put a lot of effort into these furry outfits but whoever bought the furry outfits got snaked they got what what, what? They got snaked boiled boiled, boiled snaked <laughs> yep sorry i thought i had shared this uh <laughs> this video with you guys 
Paul, cut this part out. Yeah, cut this out. It's fine. Uh, but the, the one of the Juggalo dads has a video with his daughter who's a furry. What? And oh she, bought, Are we she bought a furry outfit, and it was, like, <laughs> shitty. So they, oh, they, they fucking recorded a video of them together talking about how that company snaked her for, like, selling her this really expensive furry outfit that sucked. <laughs> it's amazing. Wait, so you're, you're telling me... A, a that you're doing a call back to big money wrestlers, hell yeah, and B that whoop, whoop. Juggalos are really into Turkish Star Wars and furries. Yeah, fandom. that's what I'm doing. I guess I mean cool. we edited all this out, I assume, but yes. No, it's all staying in, baby. <laughs> this is gonna be the best episode ever. Then if it's staying in, I'll put a link to the uh, that video below. I guess if it's staying in. All right, Paul. M Paul, write in your doc to make a note. To tell Mike in e in email to <laughs> put the link in to the juggalo the thing. Paul, put put the whistle sound in here. <laughs> no. <laughs> Anytime we need to cut away the whistle sound. Jesus. Well, hey, I, now is the time when the greatest move of all martial arts film <laughs> history you, happens. Thank you, Hudson. Mur right now? Yes. Yeah, right, right now. now. Mur everybody's fighting monsters, so the queen who's like seducing Ali is like, nope, and teleports some monsters <laughs> in. Everybody's fucking fighting monsters. Murad fucking catches a sword in his mouth, <laughs> and then karate chops either side and breaks it. <laughs> And it's so awesome. That was he can amazing. Break swords with his mouth. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's a real Polgasari bit. Totally. Oh, <laughs> it Does totally he is. It? <laughs> he doesn't eat it, but he just breaks the shit out of it. Okay, and then can I can I do the next part? I have no idea where we are, <laughs> okay. so just go. It this all is also blends the together. Part where I have dot 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 because I have lost attention for a minute, so this <laughs> so is perfect. Nothing like works, and the wizard somehow captures them. We don't know. Again. I think maybe he blasted him with something, but whatever. So then they're they're like tied down or something, and then the wizard puts like big blocks on their head. Yeah, what the fuck was that? I don't know, and it only lasts for a second. And then he's like, "Okay, we're gonna bury them alive. It's the worst torture a human can bear." And so he does it, but instead of burying them alive, he just puts like a thin layer of dirt over them. Yeah, it's like and then, two inches of dirt. Yeah, and two, and two inches, and then like five seconds later, he's like, well, they uh, resisted the torture. Well, well Jay, <laughs> Jay, I think, I think the real torture here is, it's not the two inches of dirt. Despite what the wizard says about this being the ultimate torture, I think the real torture is being buried under two inches of dirt, surrounded by goddamn mummies. Well, that Chris. Oh. Also, the real Chris. The real torture is this sound effect that, of the whistle. God, the, yes. Paul, the whistle. Oh, no, it's, it's over the wait, wait, line. Is that is that the whistle that summons women, or the yes. whistle that summons skeletons? I, iTunes, if you can hear me, delete uh. this. <laughs> I will do. You know what? Since the since the whistle that summons women was never heard in the film, Mike Hayes will now give you his interpretation of what that whistle might sound like. Woohoo! Bye bye. <laughs> wow, that is a sound of panties dropping all over the world, Mike. Uh, Thank sounds, you so much. It sounds more like sandpaper. Uh, okay, fine. All right. So what the wizard is after is he wants the pilots brains but only after they feel disgraced so that's what he's after oh okay that makes sense yeah that checks out hey guys what guys i'm mixing a drink nice. oh god nice i'm trying here guys i'm um, really fucking trying, so but trying then, wait, like, okay wait paul i got you here the wizard gets yeah. pissed at the queen for not being able to, to seduce ali so yeah. he transports her into another movie <laughs> where an old lady turns into a tarantula a tarantula. Yeah, I thought he, she was. Oh, that's right. It's she, implied but, that the queen turns into the old lady and then a tarantula, which is just really mean. But I think he just showed her another movie. <laughs> He's like, sit down and check this one out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and hey, is this the part where then uh, uh, Marat fights a seven foot tall furry? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. I through my through ninety five percent jumps. My, no my notes right now here say, and now they're jumping over the furry convention as if it's some sort of attack. So anyway, jump cut to the history of Islam. Yes. <laughs> well, Wait, we're not okay. there yet, guys. He's got to fight the cat man first. 
Wait, wait, is this before or after he fights the guy with the nunchucks? Wait, okay. Nunchucks oh, is God. after. I think it's, okay, it, it's it's the guy oh, with the no, nunchucks. That? The guy with the nunchucks. Then then the Jesus in the super advanced yeah, cities yeah, underground. Yeah. Then mm. the golden sword that looks like it's built out of foam core. And then, and then <laughs> well, two, it is. two green mans. <laughs> oh, you are, okay. We all have our own interpreta- interpretation of what those guys are. Um, yeah. And then there's the golden brain. Yes. Yeah. It's almost like they didn't have much of a budget for this movie. <laughs> hmm. Almost. Well, they had a yeah, golden but- brain. So, so the nunchuck guy, though, I guys, I didn't notice he had nunchucks. I just kept hearing him go, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is this a cat, dude? Uh, Not that the nunchucks explains the noise, but... Mike, Mike, I think they took the cat noise from two evil eyes. Oh, oh call back. What's that sound like, Chris? Wow, <laughs> wow. Two evil eyes. Uh, call back to seasons one's finale, where that score got... Ooh, no, I points. already talked about that on on <laughs> I just on the it, Land of College just, Profits episode. Well, I, I can't know. do that. You're talking about B movie <laughs> mania history, but I'm talking about history of this film where they talk about how the wizard and his followers are immortal but ugly. Oh yeah, that's true. They did bring that up, and that's kind of rude. I thought that was a little hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking, Mike? Uh, currently, I'm finishing off this land grant. I poured myself a new gin and tonic, and now uh, I'm going to He's go peeing up. directly into his mouth. Malort. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, cut that part out. <laughs> Delicious. But then you'll, Paul, but then you'll miss Mike he, peeing directly into his mouth. <laughs> Paul, I hope you only edited out Chris saying piss. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to do any edits this episode. Hey, Paul. <laughs> edit in that whistle sound that everyone no! loves so much. No, no, I'm definitely not. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, where, where in the wait, wait, goddamn wait, wait, wait. hell are we? Oh, no, For we real, I have it. no idea. All right, all right, I got it. Murad has the, has the sword in the brain. <laughs> yes, and Ali turns himself into a werewolf, but he's promptly stabbed. <laughs> wait, you're just going through wait, this wait, like wait. it's normal. Wait, wait. No, Paul, Paul, give me the floor. Paul, give me the floor. All right, go. Okay, so we thought Ali had died before. He, the, it seemed like the wizard had killed him. So Ali comes back looking like some sort of a zombie type creature, and then they have to fight, and then he kills Ali, and we're like, oh shit, he killed no, Ali. No, Mike, Mike, I think Jay and I both have Ali turned specifically into a werewolf type creature. Yes, yeah, a werewolf a zombie type, type creature. Type creature. No, no, so my well, notes show anyway. He shows up as Ali, then turns into a werewolf in front of our eyes. It's yes, amazing. Yes, 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 it's really good. Yeah. It's like it's like industrial light and magic fucking just like <laughs> poof. <laughs> I'm sure they were on board this but, project. But it's just a trick. It's not the real Ali. Thank because the real Christ. Ali would never turn into a werewolf. I mean, come on. Let's be serious here. He'd yeah. turn into a woman. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the real Ali is tied up in some sort of machine that harnesses his brain particles to make fake Ali's that turn into werewolves. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All true. <laughs> All completely true. And, I can see the, the end of my notes. Thank God. <laughs> the machine, or is it the the machine or the robot, movie. tells the wizard they can't harvest Ollie's brain. Right. Oh, yeah, because it's too tied to his friend's brain or something. Oh, we haven't right. talked about the robot that looks like Lost in Space. That was a... M- Mike, he got introduced like 45 minutes yeah, ago. Yeah, but we didn't mention it. He's like a pivotal... He's like the right-hand man to the wizard. Like, it's pretty just, much. Just another movie that this uh, movie is pulling from, if Though you will. I think, I think he looks also a bit like Lucifer. Oh, from ba- from the original BSG. I got yeah. you. I He's got, got the you. glass head. I mean, so does Will Robinson. Yeah. Shit. But it's mainly movie. Robbie the Robot. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. All right, who's talking? Go. Uh, <laughs> him and Marat. He meets Marat again for real, and then he yeah, takes... Yeah, Marat the, goes to rescue Ollie right. at this point. And, but but yeah, Ollie's Ollie back. takes the sword <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. after they have a weirdly in-depth talk about what kind of women are left on the planet. <laughs> um, <laughs> God damn it, Ollie. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Ali goes to the wise man, who we didn't really mention, and he wants to figure oh, out. Yeah, we haven't talked about uh, Muammar Gaddafi at all. <laughs> <laughs> it was before he became who he was. It was his early days. It was a long okay. time ago. Um, I don't but Ali this. is is bamboozled <laughs> because it's the wizard instead of the wise man. Oh, and yeah. then the wizard uses the force to throw Ali around a bunch inside of a cave. Wait, the force from Star Wars? <laughs> no, 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 no. Paul, there is this movie has nothing to do with Star Wars. 
<laughs> Nothing. <laughs> okay. But this is the trick, though, because because the wizard touches the sword in the brain, and that right. gives him. And the mere act of touching the sword in the golden Mix. brain gives the wizard oh. the power to break through the brain particles protecting the earth. And <laughs> oh, mortal humans! I touched fuck the me. sword in brain. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. He has increased powers. Oh, then Ali runs off and dies finally. Oh yeah, no well reason. he he runs. I think he just runs off and explodes right. The he doorway. does. He yeah. runs into a doorway and which blows makes up. me think that a the old man booby trapped his like porch, and Ali just <laughs> or Ali himself was made of explosives. <laughs> well, could be. Right. All right, guys. Can and uh, at this point, I don't know which is true. Guys, I'd like to I'd like to introduce a new uh, a segment to. Uh, the podcast, if I may. Oh, Christ. We don't need a song oh, title unless you want to do one, Paul. Paul edited in a, uh, a song title. I can um, this hear is, you. This is called, this is called <laughs> Interpret the Note. It's, it's now, now time, time to play, play. Interpret, Interpret the, the Note. note. Interpret the Note. <laughs> what? All right, guys. I'm going to give you... Here's, thanks for playing, guys. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to tell you what my notes say right now, and I'd like one of you lucky contestants to tell me what the fuck it meant. <laughs> this sounds fun. Okay. All right, ready? Yeah. My notes now say, Our hero has gold hands now. With scales? <laughs> Well, all right, I, mean, I got the, I got this one. I got this one. So the gold hands with scales are really shitty gloves spray painted gold <laughs> that our hero Marat puts on after melting the golden sword and the golden brain in a big bucket. Now, my question back to you, Mike, is: uh Oh, oh we send it back, guys. Let's after see what Marat here. plunges his hands into the molten gold made from the heated sword and golden brain there's a lot of this golden there's a lot of this gold substance left in that bucket yeah now he only uses oh, no. a portion of that oh, no. as, <laughs> as his hands now this I'm is gonna not get how back Jeopardy to you. No, no, no this is this is my question is this bucket the most powerful mm. bucket in the galaxy or just no. a regular bucket mm. no it definitely is yeah, yeah. I, I I'm gonna say what is yes <laughs> <laughs> hey Mike, can Good you enough. say uh, can you say it's now time to play Interpret the Notes? <laughs> interpret the Notes! It's now time to play Interpret the Notes! <laughs> <laughs> so now that Murat has his <coughs> golden gloves and his golden boots, he's he's good to go, right? He pretty just he pretty much just walks away and uh, the credits roll, yeah? Pretty much. Uh, no. Yeah, well, Paul, my notes, if I may play another round of what the fuck did I just write down? <laughs> it's now, now time, time to, play. to play. What, what the, the fuck, fuck did I write down? down? Interpret the notes. <laughs> my, my notes now for one of you lucky contestants says, just says, Jesus, period. I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is where Mike gives up. I think that's where he starts ripping the heads off of the furries, like, right and left. <laughs> well, Chris, to, to your point, Chris, the, I mean, the, the fight scenes keep getting more and more intense, right? And this is just like, not blood just, almost shoots not, out your nose. Not just more and more intense, Paul, but also more and more ridiculous. Oh, yes, absolutely. It's like, Yo Gabba Gabba meets Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what. He's just uh, ripping limbs off monsters. He's karate chopping monsters in half. He's ripping uh, heads off of mummies, throwing the head at another mummy, and watching the head explode. <laughs> it's <laughs> so fucking great. And then, we can't forget, amidst all this limb ripping, body chopping, head exploding, there are jumps and leaps and just like... Hops all over the goddamn place. <laughs> well, that's obviously because of his previous well, yeah. training with and the well, stones exactly. around. We've his all ankle. seen the montage at this point. He's yeah. just leaping the fuck all over the place. Jump, <laughs> rip an arm off. Jump, karate chop someone in half. Jump, let's explode ahead. That's this it's entire. Really, it's a good scene. message to the kids. Yeah. If you oh, yeah. if you train, if you put in the work, you can do this shit. <laughs> 
So after 35 minutes of doing battle with with all these monsters and skeletons, he's and pretty God goddamn good else, at it. He is. He's, he's fucking really amazing good. at it. Yeah. Finally, he comes face to face with who? Mike, the wizard. Oh my gosh! Wait, the Prince of Magic? Prince. Prince. No, God. Okay, I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chris. I said the wizard. Oh, okay. I couldn't hear you very well. Sorry, Mike. What did okay. you think I Wizard. said? Wizard. I thought you said the Prince of Magic. Prince, Prince of Magic. Oh, no. I thought you said that whistle sound. <laughs> now, if I... Fucking Jay, this is your last episode from the podcast. God damn it. You're editing the second half of this All right, shit. Sorry, now, sorry, sorry, Paul, I gotta say, sorry. I gotta say real quick, though, about this last battle where Murad is just ripping limbs off and chopping people in half. <gasps> hey, they throw in every single monster from the entire movie. You got the skeletons, you got the red furries, yeah. you got all the mon- you got the mummies, <laughs> zombies, <laughs> the fucking monsters from the cantina scene, you got the gold dust looking dudes from the, the sword getting scene. It's God. every, oh, you got the the seven foot tall monster from the gladiatorial arena. Mm-hmm. It's every they threw it's Infinity War. It's Tur- Turkish Star Wars <laughs> Infinity War. Oh, even that fucking Lost in Space robots is like pew 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 shooting yeah. lasers out of its goddamn hands. Which I didn't know it could do that, but it can. It's so great. <laughs> now we finally come face to face with the wizard here, Jay, and uh I, I, I didn't make it all the way through the movie. I'm assuming that they do some sort of uh Contract negotiation and uh, walk away. <laughs> if by contract negotiation, with oh. without any sort of violence whatsoever. <laughs> um, correct. <laughs> if by contract negotiation you mean he chops that bitch in half. Oh, oh that's awesome. Oh. I, I bet it looks super cool. It does actually. It, yeah, it's pretty. Sweet. What does it look like? <laughs> just the guy s- just bloodlessly f- splits into two pieces. <laughs> Oh, cool. So you so you see the whole image on the screen. It's like a 1920 by 1080 full HD, you know, just you, you see the gut spilling out of the one half, one half not, of his side, and it's well, fucking epic. Well, not so much guts as, uh, he's like, just kind of like two pieces of, I don't know, cardboard or something. Like, he just kind of, it's like a hard... Candy shit. No, I know. Oh my god. Yeah, no, but you you have to do special effects. But I'm seeing when you see him on the ground and he's dead, uh-huh. and you're like, okay, we're gonna see this guy split in half, and we're gonna well. see the dirt on the ground and his blood spilling onto the dirt. You're gonna see it, right? Well, it's sort of like the shell. I mean, part of the shell just kind of falls out of frame, though. So, I mean, Mike, you know. what are you laughing about? Did it did it not? Was it not suitable to you? You guys are just making really good points. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it, they, you know, it's uh, it happened. Yeah, it did. There's a big earthquake after that. And then what? I think I think Murat flies away in the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. Rating time. <laughs> dun, Jesus. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Rating time. Now, yeah. Well, well, well. Let me let, let me back up a little bit here. So. <laughs> <laughs> he, he chops Murat chops the wizard in half but then like every the cuts to light and this is where the movie really one ups hologram man because Ooh. you've got everything Whoa. explodes Vendetta. Star Wars explodes the planet explodes the town explodes you got like a volcano space explodes goddamn spaceships like everything explodes like literally everything explodes and Chris That's if great. I may follow up on that um, yes. the explosions give birth to the lesson of the film. What's that, Jay? Human is the greatest value in the universe. (laughs) Protect your future, because your future is in the peace. Mm -hmm. That's true. He's he's not, yeah, he's not wrong. You know, I mean, I think if if more of us lived by those words, I think the world would be a much better place. True. Absolutely. True. You know what? Definitely. Also, speaking of making this a better place, Paul, this space that we're in, I really love how well you've edited everything we've said. I didn't and, do any editing. And of course, I extra love that when 
when when Chris want when you said rating time, but then Chris wanted to be like, oh wait, I got one last thing to say. You you played rating time back in reverse in a funny way. It was so cute. That was, it was great. Very, you know, zip, 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 it was zip. great when he did that. Fuck. Rating time. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Rating time. All right, guys. I know that there's probably 150 <laughs> different rating systems that we could do with this. But, you know, let's, I'm let's put pull them all on the line. I want you to list every single one of those, Paul. No, let's I want, not. I want choices no. in my rating system. Chris, if you want choices, go to Sizzler, okay? <laughs> so I'm insisting. I'm going to pull a, it's my last episode. You have to do this. It's going to be one out of a hundred Turkish peace ways. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Ooh, good all one. Right. I like that. All right. Uh, that's great. Uh, Mike, I I know that uh, you've seen this movie a handful of times. If yeah, I'm not mistaken, I, you actually played it for your uh, your B movie mania bingo series that you host at the Native once a month. Uh, we got a bit of a half truth there. Uh, I do every last Sunday of the month in Chicago host B movie mania night at the, this bar called the Native, where we show two B or cult classic movies and. Uh, that does happen, but I have not played this for that. Uh, but I do what? own a D- I do own a DVD of it. Like I, I have a fucking rip of it. Um, you you saw it before uh, I picked it for the podcast, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, a bunch of times. I, I own okay. it. I, I own a DVD. I've watched it a handful of times before this. I just haven't screened it there. All right, one out of a hundred Turkish peaceways. My case. Oh, Jesus, you you fucking set me up for that. All right. <sighs> What? Chris Hudson, one out of a hundred Turkish peace race. <laughs> All right, I will go first. <laughs> ah. Before anyone else says it, this movie is fucking insane. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. it's so it was it would be so really insane and enjoyable without the Star Wars clips, without the Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones theme music, without all the rip-offs of other movies, because it's gonna be the one. It's just so shitty, and that and that makes it so much better. It makes no sense. It makes even less boys, sense boys, with boys, everything else. Boys. So, I just want to say I, I kind of want to give it a sixty-five. What? But, but there are some really great fight scenes, and the monsters are just really, really adorable. I love the costumes. <laughs> I love them. So I'm gonna Yo, give gabba, this. Gabba. I'm gonna give this. 90 Turkish peace waves. Yes. Nice. Woo. Very nice. That's very nice. Jason Halls. This uh, movie is a message sent back through time. <laughs> yeah. People in the future are so advanced that they had to squash our human evolution into like 90 minutes that they thought that we could understand and pay attention to. Um, right. So when you see this vision, you may not understand it. And you may not like it, but you realize <laughs> you've been through something. Um, 87 Turkish peace ways. Woo! Very nice. Wow. Okay, Mike Hayes, you feel, are, 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 you, are you up for it? You want to do this? Is this going to be another goddamn 100? It's not another 100. Spoiler <laughs> alert. Go. For the sake of ruling and becoming more powerful... While the beautiful and happy world was madly destroyed, suddenly <laughs> it came across... I can't, I can't see it anymore. Uh, you got it. We get the idea. Yeah, we imagine uh, ten minutes of that. Um, <laughs> so, this movie... I mean, it's a cult classic for a reason, but it's like a weirdly lesser-known cult classic. I mean, it's, it's up there for anyone who's looking for it. But there's other, like, cult classic B-movies that are more well-known. Everyone knows The Room. Boring. Uh, hot, hot take. Hot take. <laughs> Had but. to do it on my last episode, didn't yeah. you? Well, fuck that. Fuck. <laughs> anyway. Amazing so, movie. 100. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like Paul's going to have to come back next season hey, to Mike, pick The Room. Wait, wait, wait. No, Paul, no, hey, Paul. No. Paul, write down yeah. in your notes that... Tell Mike in the email to put a special little spot in the rating card where you give the room 100. Okay, <laughs> thank you, baby. Um, no, no, but it's like, but this movie is, if you want an insane fucking what the hell is going on movie, 
<laughs> like that isn't even like a drug trip. Like it's not like trippy and weird. It's just like, what is this plot? What? And it's like extremes. It's like they want to have zombies. They want to have skeletons. They want to have <laughs> furries or whatever the fuck the furries were actually supposed to be. None of us know. Literally none of anyone know. No, no, no one knows. <laughs> they were just whatever. Like no one knows what they were supposed to fucking be, but they were there, and it was just—it's just mind blowing. And and the fact that you have to read it doesn't even hurt because I feel like <laughs> reading the subtitles helps you concentrate a bit on what's supposed to be going on, and it makes less sense. It's just—it's just insane, you know. It, but if you know if that's not your thing, don't do it. If you want something that's gonna make sense to you, yeah. if you want an action movie, like give say, us the fucking peace like, ways. Like, if you want ten some, more minutes. Like if you want a hologram man or something like that, like that's got a, a very focused plot line, Paul but it's action or you know action focused and very <laughs> enjoyable that way. Yeah, yeah. You want to watch that? This is Paul not, literally this just is not use that. the number that he says. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, 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 okay. Uh, fucking, <clears throat> fucking ninety-five Turkish peace ways. Yeah, very, very nice. Um, I agree a lot with what Mike says, and I, I guess my the. <laughs> It's like it's not fun to watch, like it is. What? But at the end of it, you're like Jesus Christ, like. My brain, my golden brain hurts after this. <laughs> you, better um, not, you better fucking do it, Paul. Don't worry, don't worry. The fact that this movie exists is enough for me. And, and the fact that there's just, there's nothing else like it. Although I do want to watch Turkish Star Trek, no doubt about it. <laughs> um, you know that I love coming across something that is unlike anything else that you've ever seen. I mean, that's why I gave The Room 100 earlier on this podcast. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go 93. God damn it! Did, were you expecting 100? I, why, why not? Because <laughs> I'm a stickler. For your it's the last episode, Paul. How, Paul, how many whistles do you give it? I give it 101 <laughs> whistles. No! <laughs> wow, dude. Paul, put in your notes this whole oh, mic that he has to oh, deal with Paul, that, too. Paul, I can't believe you actually put 101 whistle sounds together like that. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Oh, absolutely Why did you do that? Oh, Why did you do that? My that hurts ears hurt so bad. Do you know that I have a job you know, you know and that I, like I have to... other things going in my, on in my life? Besides editing this every fucking Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> well, guys, uh, I think it's pretty safe to say, actually, that season two of B-Movie Mania was actually better than season one of B-Movie Mania. I oh, had a yeah. fucking blast this season. Mm, mm, absolutely. Oh, yeah. It's only, da- only downhill from here. Well, no, yeah, I just right. wanted to say really fast that I have absolutely no doubt that all three of you are going to do an amazing job on season three, and we have some really great stuff coming up in the Mm -hmm, mm off-season, and I'm going to be, you know, doing a couple things here and there, and it's going to be really fun. So we will see all of you very soon on B B B Movie Mania! Listen up, maniacs. Do you have a question or a comment? Would you like to uh, send some bourbon to Uncle Lloydie? You can contact the gang on Facebook at B Movie Mania. You can also drop them a line at bmoviemania.com. Reach out, touch them. They are touching themselves, and they might just reach back. I'm Lloyd Kaufman saying, see you next time on B Movie Mania. Woohoo! Okay, anyway, guys, hey, shh, listener, hey, it's this mic. It's this mic here. Fine, don't worry about them. Uh, we've got cool stuff over at our store. You can go to the website. You can uh, check out, uh, we've got a movie that uh, Jay wrote and directed and Chris starred in and Paul did, oh my God, so much work on it. And I did a couple things on it. But like, go there, check it out, watch it on Amazon. And while you're in Amazon, 
uh, buy a couple things because you went through our link. We'll get a couple bucks back from that or pennies. It does. It, you know, they don't pay us that well, but we got a thing. So help us out. Support us. We want to keep doing this. We're going to keep doing it. But if you can help in any way because you like this show, like that would be amazing. And we'll love you forever. Hey, hey, Mike. Mike. What? what Chris, what? Uh, what? Uh, uh, I'm moving in here. I just wanted to say about yeah. our T-shirts. They're what about really, them? really soft. They're really oh, soft. I'm wearing one, one of our T-shirts right now in honor of Paul's last episode. And I just want to let our listeners know they're available to purchase on our website. They're oh, so cool. comfortable. They are great. They're so great. Guys, James, Sorry, is that I just, I, what, Yeah, no, what, it's me. What, it's what? me. Hey, do you guys hear that whistle sound? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> wee wee. Uh, thanks for listening, everyone. We're going to have some wonderful stuff in the off season. We, we're working on our schedule for that now. It's a lot of fun stuff. I think everyone liked the last off season. We had some really weird, fun stuff for that. We're going to get weirder. Next season, we're going to get we're going to get two hours of Paul peeing, <laughs> uncut, uninterrupted, no commercials. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, should we get the fuck out of here then? Should we? Yeah, fucking... we need a break. Yeah, wee, wee. Where, where we have to continue making content for the off season. <laughs> yes, that's right. All right, great. Well, thank you, listeners. We love you, Paul. Uh, you're pretty good too, Paul. You're um, you were you were solid. Wait, what? Did you? So we're yeah, talking. Wait, if you if you're keeping this in, no one's hearing Paul say words right now. I'm just talking to him. Paul's done. Yeah, we can talk to Paul, but no one will hear us talking to Paul. I can't oh. believe Paul died like that, right, Paul? It was My weird God. that explosion that, so that cut bizarre. out the whole like yeah. it, it was like, system. It was like someone ripped off a mummy's head, oh. threw it at Paul's toilet, it ricocheted off the back of it. Onto the seat, splashed inside, and then when Paul went to pee, exploded. The fireball, oh my goodness, climbing up the stream of his own urine, exploding his crotchal region, and destroying Paul's Luckily, body as we, we have willpower. know it. We have willpower. He, had, he did not have immortality. Us. He, he did not have physical we immortality, but he had spiritual immortality. We are saviors. Hudson, who are you talking to? Well, I was I'm talking to Paul's spirit. He's no longer I, here with us physically, but yeah. he is here spiritually. Well no, Paul doesn't so wait, have wait. a spirit. Yeah, Paul, right, Paul was right, only right, immortal right. physically, not yeah, spiritually. Not, not spiritually. No, I thought he wait, 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 wait. I thought he was immortal spiritually, not physically. No, 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 you're mistaken, you're mistaken. God uh, damn it. But, but Hudson, Hudson, you, you you described in very vivid detail, and I saw all of what you saw too about how Paul mm -hmm. died. But well, I sent the vision to all of you. Well, no, you did. Well, I saw it on the. We're on GChat, so I yeah, also I can saw see it, it through the camera. Yeah, we didn't need you to do that. Oh. But what what I think you missed was that alien spacecraft came down and ripped <laughs> off Paul's roof beforehand, and then and then didn't so much suck him in, but put him into some sort of suspended animation, and then and then just head Paul's head just kind of kind of came off. So so Mike, are you saying he's in some he's in some sort of suspendame? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I Sus absolutely didn't say what that is. Polymation? Sus no. Suspended pol. Yeah, I don't. I I mean, pol I don't think polymation? so. Polymation? Polymay? Is it pol pol Can we? Can we? Bump? That just sounds you know like what? if Paul you know was what? Japanese. That just sounds terrible. That just sounds yeah. terrible. Never yeah, mind. Yeah, that sounds Never like mind. yeah. This is all gonna get cut out. Nah. Or we're gonna or be bonus is material. It? Or hey, if you're listening right now. You're special. Enjoy the show. You got you get an extra fifty minutes of content for free. I love every person that listens extremely very much. <laughs> I'm editing this. I'm stopping this. Prince of Magic. Prince, Prince of Magic. Magic.